managerial accounting, performance management, and evaluation. In order to evaluate a manager properly, you should only evaluate them based upon their responsibilities. It's terrible to be evaluated when you have no control over something. So we're going to look at the five different types of responsibility centers a manager could manage. And then if you're able to identify what type of center a manager can manage, then you know what they're responsible for, and then you can be more effective in your criticism or your evaluation of them. So the five include cost centers. Now a cost center is where you're making a product or providing a service, and the cost that you're accountable for, or responsible for, can be traced directly to that product or service. So those are things like direct materials, direct labor, overhead. Those are the costs that are traceable to the product. So as a manager of a responsibility center, meaning a cost center, you should only be evaluated based upon um, how you spend those costs and compare that with your budget. Now to do an effective job of comparing a cost center uh, actual results with its budget, we're going to have a brand new kind of budget. It's called a flexible budget. And a flexible budget is prepared at the end of the year based on the actual output. So in other words, it says, what does this budget look like uh, based upon what you actually produced? And then it's much more uh, meaningful to compare actual results with that budget rather than that master budget you prepared before the year ever began. In the next chapter, we're going to spend a lot of time on cost centers using a performance evaluation measurement system known as standard costing. And we'll be able to break down that materials labor and variable overhead and fixed overhead into a lot of different variances, eight variances in all. So that's next chapter. Discretionary cost centers means that you're a manager and all you're doing is spending money. You're not generating any revenue, but there is not a traceable result between your actions and the products or the services that the business sells. A discretionary cost center would be those support activities such as legal, such as HR, human resources, such as accounting. They're essential to the business, but do we try to minimize their costs? So in a discretionary cost center, we'll compare what they actually spent with their budget and probably use non-financial performance measures to see if these uh, centers and their managers are effective uh, in being responsible for their duties and, and doing a great job. So a lot of times non-financial performance measures. Did their project go okay? Did they reach the folks they wanted to reach? So that's discretionary. The next one is called a re revenue center. And if you're a manager of a revenue center, that means that you are in charge of sales in generating revenue. You don't have very many costs, but you need to drive that revenue. So how I would compare this is look at my budgeted sales forecast versus what you actually sold. So again, am I comparing back to a budgeted amount? Again, I would probably run a flexible budget so that I can see that if my sales exceeded expectations, that I also had the budget in order to what, meet those expectations. So a flexible budget is very helpful because it compares actual results with a budget as if it was prepared for those actual results. Um, the revenue centers, you know about e-commerce. Um, that's where you have a phone center and you call up and you place an order or you're online and you place an order. Those are those order centers. Those are revenue centers. Profit centers means you're a manager of like a store and you have both revenue and cost responsibilities. A profit center might have revenue centers and cost centers underneath it. So a profit center has a bit more wider responsibility. Uh, a profit center is like a store. A great way to evaluate a profit center is through the income statement. And we could do a variable income statement 
And that variable costing income statement looks just like a cost volume profit analysis income statement, except it's done at the end of the year. So profit centers. The final one is an investment center. Investment center managers probably have these other centers underneath them, and they have broader responsibilities. Not only are they responsible for day-to-day, -day, but also policy decisions. So the measures of performance that we use for them are three. We use ROI, return on investment, RI, residual income, and EVA, economic value added. So stay tuned. We're going to go through each of these.